First, we are shipping four APIs, the Prompt API for Chrome extensions, the Summarize API, the Language Detector API, and the Translator API. The Prompt API for Web remains behind the flag. Second, we are moving two APIs into Origin Trial, the Writer and the Rewriter APIs. And third, we are making three completely new APIs testable behind the flag, the Prompt API with Image Input, the Prompt API with Audio Input, and the Proofreader API. And finally, we have announced a hybrid SDK developer preview to extend the reach of these APIs to browsers and devices that wouldn't otherwise be covered. Today, we're going to skip the theoreticals and what-ifs and get straight to the real deal, checking out actual AI feature examples on the websites and breaking down the tech behind them. Vision Nanny, part of the Google for Startups program in India, is a web platform developed for children with cerebral visual impairment, a leading cause of childhood blindness. The best part is these use cases run fully client-side, which enables parents and educators to access them anywhere, anytime. Chrome's new built-in AI APIs, which allow you to use Gemini Nano on the client. All this taken together makes it a super exciting time for Chrome extension developers as Gemini on device and in the cloud unlocks completely new ways to customize and optimize the browsing experiences for users. Developers are already using this technology to, uh, to build impactful Chrome extensions to help their users. And I think this is actually a pretty cool example. So many businesses still rely on printed documents for day-to-day -day operations. You know, and digging through physical docs to find what you're looking for, it, it's slow manual work. And so our friends at Adobe recently experimented with using the new Prompt API uh, and some multimodal support in uh, their Acrobat extension. Uh, and they can use it to apply it to kind of analyze a historic stock certificate with faded and difficult to read text. Now, their users can now generate text summaries uh, from scanned visuals in Adobe, all directly within Chrome. And in this case, a user can then chat directly with the Acrobat AI, uh, Acrobat AI assistant to surface, organize and validate key facts. It reduces just a huge amount of manual work and enables faster, more accurate capture of critical information from even sparse or degraded documents. Last year, I made a prediction that websites of the future may need to be AI agent compatible. Today, I'll demonstrate a web AI prototype that puts these agentic concepts into action to show you a glimpse of a possible future of the internet itself. I'll be using Google's 2 billion parameter Gemma 2 model entirely locally in the browser. If all websites embrace these concepts, we could enable a smarter web for everyone. I personally believe that in the future, we will build AI-compatible websites like you saw today, whereby you've got the option to just talk to them naturally via text or voice. Now, the browser is one of the best places to do this, as you've already signed in to all the services you love and use daily, enabling you to use tools from all of those services in one place. There are very few opportunities in one's life to be at the beginning of a new era like this. And the time is now to start exploring how you could apply web AI agents to your industry. You don't have to wait to get your hands on these new tools. Many of these APIs are broadly available and you can sign up for the early preview program today to start experimenting with these new multimodal AI and hybrid solutions. <laughs>